Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. We are jumping in once again. Um, I'm gonna play as... Who am I gonna play as? Let's play as Tainted Job. He seems like a lot of fun. I mean, he is a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, he's a bit risky. He's a bit hard to play, but he is an interesting chappy. Oh wait, do we have him unlocked? There's a very good chance I don't. Let's find out after this very long wait. Damn it! <laughs> oh well, um... I'm gonna play as Tainted Maggie instead, because she's fun as hell. Anyways. Anyways, I do need to unlock my Tainted characters. That is something that I have to do at some point. I have to get round to. It has been too long. Anyways. Fairly good. Taking damage, that's actually pretty incredible. Um, off the bat here. Also, what was the thing that we got here? Oh, Glass D4. Do not care so much. But yeah, taking damage, giving us um, spiders is pretty awesome for us right now. Uh, means that we can keep a nice, healthy army to arise and fight for us. Now, I have, um, I have just watched a film pretty recently last night that I thoroughly enjoyed, highly recommend, and want to talk about. And so I'm going to. Um... I, there's a film that, that's like been popping up on Reddit and other sources for a while that I've been like meaning to watch and just never getting around to. Um, and a lot of you may have seen it, I don't know. It's called Palm Springs. Um, it's an Andy Samberg film. Um, and yeah, I gotta say it kept like popping up and I kept like just never getting around to watching it. And finally it popped up again on Reddit like yesterday. And I was like, for fuck's sake, I've been wanting to watch this film for like two years at this point. That's how long it's been out. Actually, it's been out almost three years now. And I was like, well, just fucking watch it, you dick. Um, speed down is really tragic there. Um, but I was like, yeah, just fucking watch it, goddamn. Um, so, yeah, I finally got to watching it. And oh my god, it's so good. So, for any... And, and this this is go, this goes to my question of the day. What's, what's your film that's exactly like that? Or TV show that you just put off watching for a really long time and then you finally watched it and absolutely loved it? Um, but yeah, um, I don't know why I put it off for so long. It's, an, it's annoying. I think it was because it was on like Hulu and Amazon Prime which I hadn't got around to getting to it. Um, but basically, it's a Groundhog Day-esque film. Um... Yeah, so it's like a Groundhog Day film, um, where a person's having to live the same day over and over and over again, um, but it's just done so, so well. It's, it's so interesting, it's so cool. Basically, Andy Sandberg's character, um, wandered into a cave, who kn God knows when, and, um, it, like, triggered this time loop. Oh, these, this is an annoying room. Triggered this time loop um, that he's now stuck in and has been for, like I said, a really long time. I think I've seen a few people say it's around 40 years, but there's no confirmation in the film. So unless like the director or, or writers hinted to that, I'm not entirely sure how that's known. But either way, stuck in this time loop and um, he, he's just been living this, this day at this wedding over and over and over and over again and anytime he goes to sleep or anytime he loses consciousness including death he immediately starts the day again um and eventually he's um trying to hook up with this girl that he's hooked up with on thousands of days before at the wedding um and he uh he like runs out into the desert and I, they're trying to like hook up um, and then he gets like shot by a bow and arrow randomly by a random dude and you don't know who the fuck it is um, and then he like runs off into this cave trying to like escape and then she this girl follows him into this cave and she then gets stuck in the loop as well and it's about them two sort of trying to escape the loop and it's, it's just I'm not going to spoil the whole film because I highly recommend people go and watch it it's called Palm Springs and it is just oh so good. I really, really like those time loop style films. I think they're a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, this one is definitely no exception. This one's really, really good. Oh god, I was like, why the hell is there another ghost here? I just got a little horn. That's why, you fool. Okay. Honestly, Spider Baby is such a good item to get as this guy. How have I never considered 
Spider Baby is such a good item for this. It's pretty incredible. Old Bandage is also pretty awesome. I'm definitely going to go Angel Deal here. Uh, we're going to go Light Path, I think. I'm enjoying this run already. This is this is a lot of fun. But yeah, it's just it's one of those films that kind of gets you thinking. And it's like, there's so much sort of nuance to, to how it's done and so much sort of things that are left unsaid that it could feasibly be... There's so many things that could feasibly be going on um that you that you might not sort of think about the first time you watch or like initially and then later into the film and later on it kind of compounds and gives more evidence to and stuff like that and just it's a film that i need to watch again like i feel like it's one of those films that you kind of have to watch more than once to fully get it um and i really like those sort of films and there's a lot of people out there and I i'll be honest i'll never really understand these people so i can't if any of you out there like this i can't really speak to it but there's a lot of people out there that are like um that'll watch a tv series or a film and they'll watch it once and that's them satisfied they'll never watch it again i just can't fathom that like pretty much everything that I've watched that I've enjoyed, I've watched at least twice, if not more. Some many, many, many times. Um, I, I, I feel like re-watching something you enjoy, especially something like a long series, and especially given a big enough time gap between your rewatches, it just, it has that sort of level of, like, safety, I think, in, like, like you sort of have that comfort of knowing, where it's not like... Like, some, some of the shows, I've got to the point where I basically know every beat of every line. But it's not to... With, with a lot of them, it's not to the point of, like, knowing the show in and out um, completely like that. Or Also, by the way, the amount of spiders on the water here is lagging the shit out of the game. Um, yeah, I don't like you just shooting me over and over again, good guy. That is not what I consider fun. My little haunt dude's just gonna get you. And we're gonna grab this. Go back to our item room. Yeah, I'd really like to leave this floor so my spiders can stop making little water puddles and slowing the game down to a grinding halt. Um, we should probably try and play the sack room here, considering we've got so much health about. <laughs> right. Yeah, this room specifically is so much laggier than the other one. Let's go and find our item room first, and we'll come back to that. Yeah, we want to be taking damage here to drop more red hearts. I'm going to be leaving those ones on the floor. Get Yum Heart going as well, why not? Storage battery, I don't think it's going to be super useful for us. Although, I don't know, I, I still don't really know how the storage batteries work, I'll be honest. I've, I've probably neglected them somewhat. Might be kind of good. Right. Holy shit. Infestation plus spider baby. Are you kidding me? But any damage to deal no more than half a heart, that's actually really insanely good for our character as well. Okay. We have got something going on right now. Something pretty darn special. We've got something going on. Right. Activate to store charge from your active. Activate again to recharge the active item. Can be used to overcharge items. Becomes corrupt. Okay, so if I use this. And then I can. I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't know. Right, come over this way. Do. One of those. One of those. One of those, one of those, one of those. Grab that heart, do one of those. Just insta-kill him, because why not? Lockdown? Heck you, game. Beautiful. No! You dick of a game! It pushed me out the fucking door! <laughs> you, 
You dick. <laughs> I was gonna kill that guy, and he's like, nah. I'm just gonna fucking shove you right out the door, you, you bitch. <laughs> How dare you. Um, I'm gonna keep this on me and see if I can make this work. Anyways, hello you. For some reason, okay, the flies aren't summoning sometimes, but sometimes they are. <laughs> Goddamn, Angel Deal didn't help me there at all. Right, back through this way. Right, put that down. How does this work? Okay, that took all my HP, I see. Not really what I was planning or hoping for, so I'm going to have to be a little careful. Okay. Good to get a lot of money, but probably not the best idea for me to be playing around with that right now. I don't want to lose my angel deal. I would rather not. I'm hoping um, the old bandage works well for us here. I just can't believe we got three on-hit effect items already. That's so good. Look up, apply the permanent curse of the blind effect. All item pedestals are hidden. Each time you uh, an item pedestal spawns or an item is purchased, there's a 50% chance for an extra one. Uh, spawns a random item from the treasure pool when first picked up. Pretty good. I remember having this before. And we get Toxic Shock. That's incredible. Okay. This is looking like a good run. That item is pretty, pretty good. That item is pretty damn good. Toxic Shock doing its thing. Okay, I'm not a big fan of this room. Okay, away we go. Nice. Okay, this item is really good. I don't know why it gave you a luck upgrade as well. That's, that's kind of odd. Kind of just like attached to that randomly. Old Bandage is really not doing a great job of proccing at the minute, is it? I need a speed up. That speed down has, has uh, made me very upset. When blowing up a beggar has a chance to spawn a different random beggar in its place. Pretty interesting, but we got to stick with uh, the current um, trinket we have. Basically, a 50% chance to have the wafer effect is insane, especially on the later floors. Right, shop time. Of course. Of course. Why well, would I expect anything other than having a greed shop when I have a lot of money? Foolish to think anything otherwise. Okay, nice. Got the chasey boys here. Blood bag. We got a little, little few cell fellas. I like the cell fellas. Right. Boss has to be coming up soon, right? Carrot, why why you go so far away? Not bad. I mean, the black hearts won't be that useful, but if we manage to lose them on the boss fight rather than anywhere else. Kind of interesting to see that guy healing everyone immediately because of the toxic shock damage. Try keep those black hearts alive. I know that they'll eventually slip away from us. Okay, good. Red hearts are looking good. Boss is finally here. We can use the black hearts on the boss now. Okay. Let's get in there and black heart the hell out of this thing. Dude, the angel deal is just not happening for us right now. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> also, size down isn't actually that great. Probably shouldn't have taken that. I don't really need the tears up. Okay. There's a red heart as well. Lovely. 
This is such a cool run with such basic items. Like, we've got two quality zero or like quality one items. I can't remember if Spider Baby is quality zero or quality one. But it makes them real good when they're used like this. Full red heart there. I bouncing around all over the place. Taking damage spawns a blue fly. I mean... Like, that other thing's so much better, but we are the fly god right now. I feel like I, I owe it to myself to take that. Stars card, I'm just gonna pop. Hey, we got a second item. Very good damager. And that's actually really good because it gives us a huge ranger, which helps for our swings. So that's overall pretty positive. Otherwise, I don't particularly care for it. But I do find it a fun item regardless. So. But yeah, Toxic Shock is also better because we have higher damage now as well. The damage ups are pretty important for that. Okay. We should probably go try and find our shop, to be honest, because we have a lot of money to work with. There's, there's the potential for getting more on-hit effects from the shop. I don't know what that would be, but... Here a font card. Why? Why did I? Why did I do that? I did that in the complete wrong order. It's fine. It's fine. It, it all worked out in the end. I'm, I'm liking the little dance those guys are doing. That's it's pretty cute. Should try this for secret room. Sadly, no. Right here's the shop. We get both items here. Um, Sacrificial Effigy, which is more sac rooms, I think, which is actually pretty darn good. And the Champion Belt is more damage. Okay, that was a fucking hell of a shop. The Sacrificial Effigy is real good, because more sac rooms. We got another sac room over here that I didn't even see, actually. Let's take this for the sac room. Right, one. Two. Three, four, five, six. There's our angel deal. Please give us double. Damn it. Vanilla wafer's probably decent though. I will I will try and destroy you with our spiders. Also, spiders and flies getting all this extra damage from uh from atles getting damage ups is another very big positive. Got our key pieces going. Good, good. We've not done Mega Satan yet, have we? No, we haven't. Right. Let's carry on on our way. Probably pick my trinket back up again. Also as well, another good thing about um, Tiny Planet is we no longer have to aim. So we can just kind of fire while we're running into things. I'm still going to keep Fish Head. I know that the Wafer one is probably really, really good later on. But I just can't... I can't put down a beautiful, beautiful synergy... Like, Spider Baby, plus Fish Head, plus Infestation. It's just, it's too much fun. You have to be a little careful here, because, uh, of course, the flaw that we got a teleport to our Angel Deal, we have a 100% Angel Deal chance. Get out of here, you fat shit. Yeah, this isn't going to help us at all. Sad times. Right, down we go. And we should get more sack rooms here because um, because of the effigy. So we've got we to look out for sack rooms wherever we can. Let's not lose our deal chances here. There you go. Back up to good health. I'd like more HP ups as well. That would be pretty tidy. Vanilla Wafer is going to be useful here. Okay, we got... This, which is Monster Manuel. I'll probably just use Monster Manuel here. We've also got a Golden Book, which apparently just does the active effect twice. Regurgitated Book. Let's see how this works. 
Okay, it's pretty good because it just gives us a fuck ton of damage for uh, whacking into enemies. We also managed to get Cuba meat, which is pretty useful for us right now. Mum's wig? Mum's wig isn't on here, is it? <clears throat> so funny with that book. But yeah, gold items still way too common in my opinion, but who am I to say, I guess? Here's a sack room. Good, good. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, that's all we needed. We needed the seven ones, seven hits, and then we're good to go. We also have a numerous army of flies now and spiders. We need, um... We need... What's it called? The one that makes your flies bigger. What the hell's that item called? It's not BFF. Something like that. Can't remember what it is now. Genuinely so lost on what that is. Desperately need speed upgrades as well. Speed is really getting me down in certain rooms. Keep it going, keep it moving. So much Ipecac going on. No, thank you for that. Okay, and an extra battery there as well for Yum Heart, thank you. Although, uh, charge my book rather than Yum Heart, whoops. Didn't mean for that to happen. Beautiful, beautiful vanilla wafer procking as well. No doubled items there. Unfortunately, this 50% chance is not really been too kind to us thus far. We've got it procked like twice, maybe? Like we've seen a lot more than two items. And one time it procked on a book, which I don't really respect. Not too happy about it procking on a book. Not much I can do with that. I mean, I got bookworm out of it, I guess, but... Other than that, it's kind of useless. I was going to get bookworm from that room anyways. Yeah, we get, like, 35 damage for our swings here. And I think our melee is also explosive, yeah. We'll take... Polaroid. We have already done boss rush, but I'm at least going to check it out. We didn't get any doublings. Look look at that. All those spawned. Not a single doubling. That's 50% chance four times over. Okay, we can't... There's no point bothering with that. God damn. So now, obviously, we have the issue of taking full heart damage. But vanilla wafer should mean it's not so bad. And then on top of that, um, we can use, what's it called? I can't remember the name of it now. Vanilla Wafer plus uh, Old Bandage to get some health back. We don't have to worry too much about it. I mean, Toxic Shock's going to be taking out most things. I'm curious to see, if I run into a room and immediately activate my active item, does Toxic Shock just insta-kill everything? Just go boom. It did not. Okay. I think I need the damage before entering the room for it to count. Which is a shame. Understandable. But at least we're killing stuff at a reasonable rate, regardless. Like, our normal items and stuff are proving to be pretty damn useful for just killing enemies. Even without... Endless Nameless is a lot of fun, but Fish Head takes precedent right now. I would very much like to keep this Eternal Heart, but I'm gonna guess it's not gonna happen. 
I've been a, I've jumped the gun a little bit and taken it quite a bit too early. Okay. Let's keep going and hope we can keep it alive. Hopefully the floor's not too long and the boss isn't too difficult. We shall see. Fill that bad boy up. Yep, there you go, it's gone. I was too distracted by the black boom fly. Or boom leech, whatever you want to call it, to pay attention to the enemy that was firing directly at me. That's vanilla way for proccing again. Dude, can I not go the wrong way for five fucking seconds? I hate the womb. Just so much wasted time. It's annoying because no other floor feels like this. No other floor has the sense because you just in this floor you just don't need to search everything. So going to all these extra rooms just feels so pointless. Or bandage doing its job by not not uh, giving me any hearts. Love that. Love that. Love that. Good, good. Good. Didn't mean to pick that up. But there you go. It's done now. Golden bomb out of you. Lovely. Might be able to use that. We'll see. We'll see. Have I done hush? I haven't done hush. We could maybe uh, get a hush kill in there. worth it as well for the extra shop to try and get um, Nun's Habit. Okay. Taking it kind of slow here. Trying to kill these annoying guys. Why you move so slow, fella? Why can't you speed up a little bit? Nice. Damn it. No HP up from that guy. That would have been pretty nice. There you go. Just ipecac the hell out of this guy. Got him eventually. We did get a doubled item here. Very nice. Snake oil, interesting. Sour patch. We got a tears up and then a, uh, a tear size up and then a tear size down. That's kind of funny. Not much we can do with the sack room here, unfortunately. We've not really got health lying around. I guess I'll just go. Right. A little bit of a shame there, but it is what it is. What time are we on? We've got to be flying through this, right? Yeah, we're only on 19 minutes, room two. Oh, that's all the discs. I'm trying to pop this to the, see if I get anything. Damn. That's a disc shop right there. Ah! Ah, I can barely move. Fuck. But yeah, we got tier size up, tier size down. It balanced out. I think we. I think it's generally a bit bigger than they were before the. Okay. This Ipecac business is working out quite nicely. Don't really know if having the book being gold helps us too much, but... There you go. Hey, We finally got a heart from... What's it called? From, from our bandage. Come on, please say we're going the right way. Don't, don't screw me like this again. This looks correct. You just never know with this game. Sometimes it can be very fucky wucky. Do we have an I'm excited going on in this room? The music got louder then. Not louder, faster. But, oh, we got broken stopwatch, I see. I, can't, I, I honestly can't remember when we picked that up, but we have it apparently. Right. Let's do this thing. Don't mind getting hit a few times. 
Got a devil deal, which I guess I'll check. I doubt I'll be taking anything from. Yeah, I I'm not going to take mystery meat here. Doesn't seem like my sort of thing. We did get a card, however. Don't really care about it. Right. Do a hush fight. Why not? A little bit scary for a hush fight, I'll be honest. Not much way of generating HP. I'm going to give it a go, though. That's pretty good. That's also decent. That's fine. Ah, oh, missed out on 2020. Mum's contact is still pretty good, though. Two active items. Not really what we're looking for, is it? But good. Didn't get any health, which I'm not super happy about. Okay, should have come into this with a Yum Heart Charge, I realise. Should have come into this with an Active Item Charge as well, our, our uh, Ipecax. I also didn't realise we didn't have that going, so... This is maybe going to be a bit slower going than I would have hoped. Which is really bad, because the slower it goes, the less health we're going to get. Okay, do not, do not infinite cable him, whatever it's called. I'm, I'm, I'm already dead. <laughs> I know that I'm going to die here. This, this was a really bad decision. I'm already fairly sure that I'm going to perish doing this. Yeah, this cable is interesting, but just kind of scary. Okay, it's not going quite as slow as I thought it would, and I suppose if he spawns a bunch of flies, we can get some health back off of those. But we'll see, we'll see. We're still not going quick by any means. I was hoping to have Ipecac during this fight and just didn't think about the fact that I didn't have a charge. Right. Like I said, it's not going super slow and then Spoonbender's rather nice with this. Oh, that was a really really bad hit right there. Please spawn some flies, like now. There you go. Th none of them are dying. Why are none of them dying? That was awful. <laughs> none of them would die. I threw a bomb at them thinking, okay, this will just insta-kill most of them. Nope. Okay, spawn your little walker dudes instead then. They're easier for me to kill. Much, much easier for me to kill. Mom's contact is good. I wish I would have got 20-20, though. A little bit upset about that. Narrowly avoiding here. It's down to about half. Going not terribly. Come on. Bring me some boys. Some peoples to kill. Normally it opens his mouth all the time. There you go. Of course, none of them are dropping HP. They're all shits. You're all shit, so that was terrible. Nowhere near as enough health. I was hoping to get, like, a few hearts off of you guys. I got one. More flies that we can't kill. I can't even get to the hearts that I'm dropping anyways, either. Oh, bollocks. Okay, I got a little bit there. Not, not much. Something, though. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was just about to say this might not be so terrible when I get hit by that. Why is he so far at the bottom of the screen, my guy? Can you not? Kind of frustrating. What the fuck hit me then? Oh, it's one of you nubbins. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh I need that. I need that. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Can you, like, get somewhere else, please? You're in a terrible, terrible spot. Oh, fuck me.
Attack is nightmare fuel. Don't know what hit me then, I'll be honest. I am very close to death. Dude, you can't be doing this attack again. This is such horseshit. What are you doing now? Oh god, this is horrible. Just get out the ground, you fat fuck. Okay, that was close. That was rather close. But we did it, and we can leave, and we can go, and we can be happy. My god, the stress that I feel at this moment. Ho 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 ho, one second. Right, let's continue on. Two more floors to go, shouldn't be too hard. Can actually start meleeing a little bit more now as well. Three random hearts, I'll take it. Sadly, not the hearts I'm looking for. The extra slow room. I like it. At least we managed to get a build that works outside of just melee for the late game. That's always the problem with Maggie. You end up building something that doesn't work if you can't melee. And it saddens you. But we got something that works both ways. I think Spoon Bender, Tiny Planet. It's a good combo. Plenty of hearts to go out here. I should throw a spider at me. Good for you. Okay. Keep this moving and grooving. Just hope we can actually speed through the floors here. In fact. So much so that I'm just going to bomb this. A boss that I hate. Can't be ass fighting him. This should be the right way, I'm hoping. It's looking right. Got the organization here. Slightly annoying boss. I'm going to bomb him. There you go. Sped things up significantly. No way I'm dealing with you. What the hell hit me then? Just die. Why you gotta make a song and dance about it? It's pissing me off. Interesting design for a room, I guess. Grab that. Got nine keys. We've got plenty for the next floor. Oh, this wasn't the right way. Fuck you, game. You tricky motherfucker. Why do you, why are you like this? Why would you put this pain onto a man's soul? This is just evil. Don't trick me like that. That's bullshit is what that is. Okay, this better be right. looking more right. Oh, I do not like the speed up on this room, but... Okay, that, that thing chasing me that was scaring me because it locks me into position. I do not want to be locked in position as a character that needs to be quite close to things to kill. Okay. We made it to the Isaac. Just trying to dodge his shots as we go here. Oh my god. Cookie cutter, thank you. The Ipakaki going crazy. And we get ourselves a few items here. Oh, we've got Mega Sane to do as well, I forgot about that. Hey, we've got two doubles. Mad Onion? I can't remember what Mad Onion does. Emoji glasses, of course. Pinhead, interesting. Cricket's body, very interesting. Vasculitis is good. And Continuum. Okay, we got some really crazy shit here. Okay, our damage is ludicrous. I don't even think we need to pop it if I can't for the fight.
Our damage right now is nutty good. Those items that we just got really t turned us around quite a lot. Right, let's go for the chest first. One second. Right, we are good to go. Right, where is that blue baby boy? Yeah, this damage output's gotten pretty crazy. I'm kind of scared to use it with Epic Actor to see what happens. I'm going to have to try it, though. Okay, actually, maybe we do want to use Epic Actor in the, in the fight, because that, that was ludicrous how much damage that just did. Tough love, good, but not amazing. Oh, we just lost the double power of this thing. God damn it. It's no longer golden anymore. Apparently, if you drop it, it just loses the golden power, which is kind of stupid, but I kind of understand why. I'm just hoping we can get more and more, uh... Holy shit. More and more chests. Hey, there's another one. Jar of Air is actually really good for us. Vasculitis is doing good too. Should be close to the boss now, I think. Not super jazzed about the Rotten Hearts, but we can deal. We can deal. We've got a lot of hearts. We could do a sack room play, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Too little, too late, I think. Chest. Doubled item as well. Tech 2. Pretty good. Don't mind it. Seems to work out reasonably well. I think it'll work good with Ipecac as well. Pins everyone together pretty quickly too, which is nice. Everyone's taking damage at the same time. Right, with Herming, of course, makes it way better. Okay, boss time. Can't use a pickaxe on him, we've got to use it on the other boss. He is taking kind of a beating right now, what the hell? Everything else died so quick. I'm guessing it's because a pin shot. Everything sticking together made him die quicker. But when there's no pin shot going on, it kind of stands up to the challenge a little more. I'm still killing him reasonably quickly. Not particularly happy with my current HP, but there's, there's hearts all around, so we should be fine. What are these shots that are sticking to him? I can't figure that out. Is that something to do with um, emoji shots? Blood vessel. Right. Let's make our way back now. Still never got that speed upgrade I wanted. Make sure we're on as much health as we can be on when we enter that devil deal. Devil deal? You know what I meant. Is it this room here? To the left? That it is. Right, let's go. Pop our Ipecac book and see what happens. It's going to be a bit scary, I think, but fun. Oh, yeah, that damage is, uh, that damage is toasty. I'm sure we're going to hit ourselves a good few times here, but the damage output is, is quite something. That's a lot of hearts to get in there. I tried to get in there before it all disappeared, but apparently the game did not agree with me there. Apparently I killed all the sins already. Didn't see any of them spawn.
Yeah, holy shit, this is kind of crazy. On, on to the second phase already. I think Tech 2, honestly, was a good a good thing. Like, it didn't, I'm not saying it saved us, but we're doing fine without it, but it's really knocked this into hyperdrive. I'm a little worried about my HP now, though, because I've hit myself too many times, like I just did. It's going to cause some issues. Can you just not take forever to play this animation, please? Thank you. I hit myself twice there. Oh, God. There's a heart over there to the left. Got it. I think? Did I get it? Yeah, I did, yeah. I don't like the cheap cheeps coming down the screen at lightning speed. Oh, fuck you. Kill him faster. It was all going so quick before. Come on. There you go. He's pretty much dead now. A little bit scary towards the end there, but we got it done. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A fantastic little run there. And I can't remember what we unlocked for Maggie. Yeah, tainted Maggie's uh, boss rush. Uh, but you know what I meant, not boss rush. Mega certain. We do have Void as well. We haven't done Void yet. Let's just do it. I was going to consider leaving it there, but... Holy crown. Queen of Hearts. That's what it is. Queen of Hearts is pretty good. Icky in this room. And for the most part, we don't have to deal with uh, the Ipecac explosions for most rooms. Right. I'm just hoping we can get through this floor at a reasonably speedy rate. Like, hoping it doesn't take us too long. Sometimes on this floor, it just takes forever to find any of the bosses. Okay, we found one straight away here. Yeah, pinshotting everything together like this makes room so easy. Everything just dies instantly, really. Apparently still something in this room. I'm not exactly sure what it was. Adversary. Didn't even get to attack. Doubled item as well. Battery pack is useless. Jumper cables is not so useless. Still not great though. Two more bosses. Good, good. Wow. What is a good boss? Oh. More doubled items, please. Yeah. Yeah. Two pretty useless items there, but oh well. Last assist. Heal up a little bit. Getting good on the double items. Monstrums here, wow. Jerb's ranks. Which I don't think is any good for us, because I think it only triggers upon travelling to the next floor. It's like a massive fire rate up that decays over the course of a floor, but because we're already on this floor, it doesn't give us anything. It's a little upsetting, but it is what it is. Mama Gerdster. Double, double, double. Yes! We get the library certificate and blue math. Gotta love this room. Broken as heck. <laughs> Live certificate just doesn't work at all. Never has. It's just it's just kind of stupid. But what? There's a secret room here. But it's, it says it's open when you open a map like that, but it's not. Water. Speed out of here because we can. Unfortunately, a bunch of dud bosses there. I mean, we've got some good items, but not a lot of good items. 
Not as many as I would have hoped. Also, we have to deal with this guy now, which I am terrible at. Can't really see which tiers are his and which are mine either. Definitely doesn't help the cause. Okay. Come on now, game. Take us to the bosses. The Void can be a cruel mistress sometimes. You're dead already, dude. You can't be stomping your feet, making yourself known, and you're dead. Doesn't work that way, my good fella. I'm making a scene while you're dead. Dude, is this guy gonna die? What the fuck's this guy? What the hell? He's a strong ass boy. hard to see what it was actually in most rooms. I know we've got a bunch of jumpy guys in this one. There you go. Taken care of swiftly and easily. We're having that thing again where we, uh, we kind of have to go through the entirety of the entire floor to find our boss. Come on, there's just too many dead ends at this point. It's kind of stupid. Okay, I've got to deal with both of these fellas. Both of them, unfortunately, have invincibility phases, though, which is kind of annoying. And they have very long death animations too, which is also annoying. Right, why is this room in darkness? Come on, please be the right way. We've been traveling for so long, it's not even the right way. How is whatever's down there not dead? How are you going to tell me it's not dead? Oh! So many rooms. So few bosses. These enemies have so much health as well. What the hell's going on with that? It's a boss. Holy shit. It's not going to be the one that we want it to be right now, but it's a boss at least. That's really what we need right now. Oh my god, this low speed is killing me. Why aren't you dying? Oh, this guy's glitched. Um, that's problematic. He's that type of champion that only dies if everything else in the room is dead. But the fly on him can't die until he dies. So it was kind of bugging out there. Eventually it realized what was going on. It was kind of having a bit of a problem there. Just how is there this many rooms? It's just obscene. It just never ends. God damn it. Everywhere I go, I'm like, this'll be the this'll be a boss room. Nope, never is. Just never is. Finally. Ow. I don't even know where the boss is right now. I've already hit myself twice. Maybe Ipecac wasn't the way here. Having a real hard time finding him right now. We've done fuck all damage and we've taken so much damage ourselves. That is not good.
We're probably not going to live through this. We've hurt herself with so many explosions so far. And she's staying in Mum's foot phase for a really long time for some reason. Go back to your regular phase so I can kill you without boss armor, dude. Fly. You hit me again. Dude, that is a telefrag and a half, and you fucking well know it, you psycho. Half a heart and a dream. Almost no way this works out. I died. Of course you drop a of course you drop a fuckload of hearts the moment I die, you cruel bitch. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.